Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Let's Practice Grammar. Today in this video I am going to explain you chapter 16 subject verb agreement of class 6 from the book New Grammar with a Smile. Okay, but before starting the video I would really like to thank you all for subscribing my channel and showering love on me. Now let's start the chapter. So subject verb agreement. We have learned that a singular verb needs a singular subject and a plural verb needs a plural subject. Like the subject can be a noun or pronoun. If it is singular, then singular verb is required and if it is plural, then plural verb is required. Singular verbs like is, am, plural verb are, like the example is given the tree is tall. There is one tree that is why is verb is used. The trees are tall. Trees, plural subject. That is why our verb is used. Singular verbs is, am, was, has. Okay. And with singular subject, in simple present tense, we add S or ES with the base form of the verb. Okay. And if it is plural, then same base form will be used. No S or ES will be added. And other plural verbs are, are, were, have. Okay, now there are some rules for subject verb agreement. Number one, when two singular subjects are joined by the conjunction and, then we use plural verb because then the subject will be plural. Like my cousin and I are going to watch a film. Singing and dancing are her hobbies. Rule number two, if two singular subjects are joined by and, but refer to the same person or idea, the verb is singular. Like rice and fish is the staple diet. Here rice and fish are referring to the special diet, staple diet of people in Kerala. So here, that is why here is singular verb is used. Like bread and egg is good for breakfast. Here bread and egg are referring to for the breakfast. So that is why is singular verb is used. Okay. Rule number three. But before starting rule number three, I would like to tell you in the rule it is written same person or idea. Same person means like if you are talking about the same person, same person like the poet and the singer. Here we are talking about the same person, one single person, jo poet bhi hai or singer bhi hai. Then we will use singular verb only. Understood? Now let's start rule number 3. When the definite article is used before both singular subjects, when two singular subjects are joined by conjunction and and before those singular subjects the article is used, then we always use plural verb. Tab hum hamesha plural verb use karte hai. When a phrase or clause comes between the subject and the verb. Jab subject or verb ke beech mein phrase ya clause aa jata hai. Then we have to identify the subject carefully. Here two examples are given that I will share with you. Like the performance of the musicians is not satisfactory. Now you will think ki musician likha hai. Or singular verb kaise use ho sakti hai. How singular verb pen can be used. Now here we are not talking about musician. Here we have to find out the subject carefully. Here the subject is the performance. Hum kiske baare mein baat kar rahe hain? Musicians ki performance. So here the subject is the performance. Okay. That is why according to the subject performance, singular verb is used. I hope you got it. Now the next example. This was the example of the phrase. The phrase of the musician came between the verb is and the subject performance. Here phrase, verb or performance subject ke beech mein aaya hai. Now the next example is of clause here. The lady who is wearing a green dress is a famous novelist. Here two sentences are given. One is independent sentence, yani coordinate clause and another one is subordinate clause. Jo us pe depend karta hai, dependent hai. Okay. So the first independent sentence is, coordinate clause is, the lady is a famous novelist. Here subject is the lady. 
लेडी और वर्ब इसके बीच में हमारा सबॉर्डिनेट क्लॉज आया है दैट इज हु इज वियरिंग अ ग्रीन ड्रेस सो हेयर वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द सब्जेक्ट वेरी केयरफुली द सब्जेक्ट इज लेडी हेयर जिसके लेडी और वर्ब एस के बीच में क्लॉज आया है यहाँ पे सो वी हैव वी विल नॉट गोइंग वी आर नॉट गोइंग विद ग्रीन ड्रेस ग्रीन ड्रेस इज नॉट द सब्जेक्ट हेयर द सब्जेक्ट इज लेडी अंडरस्टूड दैट इज वाई इज इज रिटन अगर यहाँ पे सब्जेक्ट प्लूरल होता तो हम प्लूरल वर्ब यूज करते बट हेयर वन लेडी इज हेयर सो दैट इज वाई सिंगलर वर्ब इज यूज ना रूल नंबर फाइव वेन एवर अ सेंटेंस स्टार्ट विद द adverbs here and there with the words here and there tab hamesha subject jo hai verb ke baad aata hai you can see here and there examples are given there are 10 musicians so why we have used are here because are verb ke baad 10 musicians likha hai and musicians 10 musician plural subject हेयर और देयर वाले सेंटेंसेस में हमेशा सब्जेक्ट वर्ब के बाद आता है सो so, अगर सब्जेक्ट सिंगलर है तो देन वी विल यूज सिंगलर वर्ब इफ द सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूरल देन वी विल यूज प्लूरल वर्ब इन नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस यू कैन सी देयर इज नो टीचर इन द स्टाफ रूम मींस कोई टीचर नहीं है सो इज सिंगलर वर्ब इज यूज हेयर इज द नाइन ओ न्यूज द नाइन ओ न्यूज न्यूज इज ऑलवेज Used with singular verb. इसको singular ही माना जाता है Okay. Now time for exercise A. Fill in the blanks with suitable verbs. First question is Rajni and Vimla. Now two singular nouns are joined by the conjunction and. So we will use plural verb. Yes, Rajni and Vimla are sisters. Next. Toast and butter dash our favorite breakfast. Here again toast or butter. किसी एक चीज को रेफर कर रहे हैं ब्रेकफास्ट को रेफर कर रहे हैं सो वी विल यूज सिंगलर वर्ब हियर टोस्ट एंड बटर इज आवर फेवरेट ब्रेकफास्ट नंबर थ्री स्लो एंड स्टडी विंस द रेस दिस इज अ फेमस सिंग हेमा इज अ डांसर एंड एक्ट्रेस ओके नंबर फाइव द प्रिंसिपल एंड द वाइस प्रिंसिपल हेयर रूल नंबर थ्री इज अप्लाइड principal and vice principal are followed by article the and they are joined by the conjunction and so we will use plural verb so the principal and the vice principal are called for a meeting radha and payal are coming to my house number 7 ranveer and pradeep are talented actors the director and the producer have left the studio Number नाइन the two parties have agreed to discuss the matter. Number टेन bees, butterflies and moths dash around in our garden. तो bees, butterflies और moths क्या करते हैं Hover करते हैं They hover around in our garden. H O V E R hover. Okay. Now there are some more rules. Rule number सिक्स When a sentence starts with the pronouns neither and either. there we will use singular verb like either of the girls neither of the two roads when either of the or neither of the will be there uske baad aapko plural noun hi milega that plural noun is not a subject wo plural noun subject nahi hoga your subject will be the pronoun either and neither according to either and neither you will use singular verb only understood you will not go with the uh, nouns written girls and roads because your subject is either and neither understood rule number 7 when two singular subjects are connected by either or neither nor or or theek hai like either my uncle or my aunt ya to mere uncle ya meri aunt to whatever is nearer to the verb We will consider that noun as the subject. यहाँ verb के पास my aunt लिखा है my aunt is written. So we will take my aunt as the subject. अगर subject singular होगा तो singular verb होगी अगर subject plural होगा then we will use plural verb. We will go the near one, nearer one. Okay? जैसे either my uncle or my aunt dash arriving today. 
सो माई आंट ब्लैंक के पास होगा तो माई आंट इज सिंगलर सो हेयर सिंगलर वर्ब इज यूज नाइदर द प्रिंसिपल नॉर द हेड मिस्ट्रिस इज एवेलेबल अगेन नाइदर नॉर सिंगलर वर्ब इज गिवन सिंगलर बोथ आर सिंगलर नाउन्स तो सिंगलर वर्ब इज यूज नाउ इन अनदर एग्जाम्पल यू विल सी इन अ सेंटेंस विद कंजंक्शंस either or neither nor the verb agrees with the noun or pronoun closest to it closest means jo sabse paas hoga nearest to it like neither my friends nor my sister first subject is plural after nor singular subject is written my sister so we have considered my sister as the subject and singular verb is used in second example you can see my it is swapped my sisters come before my sister came before and my friends came afterwards then according to my friends we have used are plural verb okay to jo subject jo noun blank ke closest hoga sabse paas hoga chahe wo singular hoga to hum singular verb lagayenge plural hoga then we will use plural verb according to the subject okay now next number 9 if a subject is plural in form but represent a singular noun like the invincibles you will think it is plural but it is a film it is the name of a film so singular verb is used wuthering heights is an english novel heights again written in plural but it is the name of the english novel so singular verb will be used after 20 years is an interesting short story it is a short story it is it is representing a singular noun singular verb is used rule number 10 when the subject of the sentence is plural and it represents a single unit of distance time weight or money the verb is singular like 10 kilos is 10 minutes is 10000 rupees is 10 lakh rupees is okay so with distance time weight or money when they are representing a single unit we always use singular verb rule number 11 a collective noun takes a singular verb if the idea expressed is singular but it will take plural verb if the idea expressed by collective noun is plural like the board of directors has selected mr cyrus irani as the chairman the government has decided to pass the right to food act the people were confused here board of directors and government are representing singular idea so singular verb was used here the people they are representing a plural idea that is why plural verb is used rule number 12 and expressions like as well as together with with in addition to along with besides are used to join two singular subjects the verb that is used is singular like ronaldo as well as messi is a brilliant player as well as used kiya gaya hai yahan pe and two singular nouns are joined so here what is the subject children messi is not the subject ronaldo is the subject according to ronaldo is singular verb is used rahul besides priya and gauri here see expression besides is used rahul is the subject according to rahul is singular verb is used the bag with all its contents here again the bag is the subject then according to the bag singular verb is used the general manager together with her sales team was given an award here the verb a uh, subject is the general manager so according to that singular verb is used okay now rule number 13 pronouns each either neither everyone one of the take singular verb like each of these players either of the two teachers neither of the two diagrams everyone one of the new students here you can see the subjects are each either neither everyone and one you will not go with the players two teachers two diagrams 
एंड न्यू स्टूडेंट्स ऑल प्लूरल नाउन्स आर रिटर्न बट यू विल नॉट गो विद दैम वो हमारे सब्जेक्ट नहीं है आर सब्जेक्ट्स आर ईच आइदर नाइदर एवरी वन वन ऑफ द यू कैन सी ईच ऑफ दीज आइदर ऑफ द टू टीचर्स नाइदर ऑफ द यू कैन सी हियर एवरीवेयर प्लूरल नाउन्स आर रिटर्न हमें उनके साथ नहीं जाना है तो अकॉर्डिंग टू ईच आइदर नाइदर एवरी वन एंड वन सिंगुलर वर्ब इज यूज द एक्सप्रेशन मच एंड आर लिटिल हमेशा कौन सी वर्ब लेते हैं सिंगुलर वर्ब मच हैज ऑलरेडी बीन कंप्लीटेड ओनली अ लिटिल मोर इज लेफ्ट ओके नाउ द लास्ट रूल इज द एक्सप्रेशन मैनी अ फ्यू सेवरल एंड बोथ दीज एक्सप्रेशन टेक प्लूरल वर्ब ऑलवेज ओके लाइक मैनी ऑफ द प्लेयर्स हेयर ऑफ द प्लेयर्स अगेन प्लूरल इज रिटर्न बट आर सब्जेक्ट इज मैनी अकॉर्डिंग टू मैनी मैनी मीन्स मैनी इज प्लूरल तो अकॉर्डिंग टू मैनी वर वर्ब इज यूज प्लूरल वर्ब इज यूज अ फ्यू ऑफ द फ्लार पॉट्स अ फ्यू मीन्स प्लूरल कुछ फ्लार पॉट्स तो प्लूरल वर्ब इज यूज सेवरल अगेन सेवरल ट्रैफिक लाइट्स आर कुछ ट्रैफिक लाइट्स सेवरल अगेन द सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूरल प्लूरल वर्ब विल बी यूज बोथ बोथ मीन्स ऑल्सो मोर देन वन बोथ द कैपिटल्स प्लूरल वर्ब विल बी यूज हैव अराइव ऑन द field now children exercise b they here are the answers of exercise b fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verbs in the brackets asian elephants elephants plural verb plural subject so plural verb live no s or es will be added here it will be live asian elephants live in the tropical forest and grasslands of southeast asia they are b is written in the bracket and b verbs are is am are of present and was were of past here we are using present tense so we will use are they are slightly smaller than african elephants but grow up to 9 feet tall and weigh over 5000 kg that's heavier than two medium size cars even newborns newborns again plural are newborns are pretty heavy weighing about 100 kilograms given their size it is no surprise that these animals eat a lot in a day an adult asian elephant eats because here one elephant is there so we will write eats as will be added in eat eats nearly 75 times than what an average human eats their ideal meal includes roots grasses fruit and bark much of an asian elephant's time is spent searching for food asian elephants also enjoy taking dips in the water they are gentle and social to communicate with each other they use rumbles bellows growls and moans some of their vocalizations can be heard more than 2 kilometers away so these were the answers of exercise b now let's discuss the answers of exercise c correct the errors and rewrite these sentences so the first sentence is rita and her cousins was is written children here the subject is plural so we will use were in place of was we will use were so the answer will be rita and her cousins were playing in the garden number 2 the class class is a collective noun and it is representing singular idea so singular verb will be used the class is going for a picnic to lal bag number 3 the cows cows is a plural noun so plural verb will be used the cows are grazing on the fields number 4 there so the sentences which starts with there and here i have told you the subject is always given after the verb so here it is written there were a thief a singular a single thief one thief is there so here should be was there was a thief in the room the white number 5 the white shirt and the trousers two nouns are joined by and and 
both are followed by the article the so here we will use plural verb the white shirt and the trousers were dirty number 6 there was many parcels no it is not correct again the sentence has started with the word there so the subject is many parcels and it is a plural subject so we will use were there were many parcels in the box that arrived from london number 7 truth and honesty is the best policy not r okay truth and honesty is the best policy number 8 the quality of paper is not good acha tell me what is subject here quality we are talking about the quality of the paper paper is not a subject okay the quality is the subject number 9 this pair of scissors is broken okay those scissors take plural verb but here we are talking about the pair of scissors one pair of scissors so is verb will be used okay number 10 there is many people again many many people is the subject so there are many people waiting to meet the governor number 11 each of these doctors are qualified children each of these doctors here the subject is each so according to the subject each is verb will be used so each of these doctors is qualified number 12 both my sisters has helped me it is totally wrong because with both i have told you we use plural verb so both my sisters have helped me number 13 the pen as well as a few pencils were in the bag here the subject is the pen so according to the subject the pen we will use the verb was so the answer will be the pen as well as a few pencils was in the bag number 14 the thieves together with their leader the thieves here the thieves is the subject and it is plural so in place of was we will use were so the answer will be the thieves together with their leader were sent to jail number 15 one of the soldiers soldiers is written but the subject is one so here singular verb will be used so the answer will be one of the soldiers has been injured now exercise d there is one error in each line of the following passage underline the incorrect word and write the correction in the space provided number 1 oh, sorry numbers are not given here for answers numbers are given here it is a paragraph so here let's start vivek and ritwik plural subject is is written so underline is in place of is we will write are so the answer is vivek and ritwik are good friends they goes with they they is a plural subject so go go verb will be used so underline goes and in place of goes we'll write go they go to school together and participate underline participates it will be participate in all activities together one day a few boys from the nearby school a few so with a few i have told you we'll take plural verb so comes is written underline comes and in place of comes you will write come come and catches underline catches and it will be catch and catch hold of ritwik they beat underline beats and in place of beats write beat they beat him up takes underline takes and in place of takes write take and take his bag and tear tear underline tears and write tear tear is the answer tear his books vivek see this vivek see see underline see vivek is singular so it will be sees s w e s vivek sees this from his study window he comes he is again singular verb singular subject so it will take singular verb so s will be added in come so underline come and write comes he comes running to save his friend he catches underline catch and write catches 
he catches hold of the boys and snatches underline snatch it will be snatches s n a t c h e s and snatches the bag away from them by them ritwik have is written underline have and in place of have you will write has by then ritwik has also recovered the true friends chases no it will not be chases it will be chase because two friends plural subject is there so it will be chase the two friends chase the boys out of their locality so these were the answers of chapter 16 subject verb agreement i hope you understood the chapter and please do not forget to subscribe my channel keep liking the videos bye